Hi everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some more vintage bag haul unbagging and some items that I picked up separately. So we can start with some items that I picked up that I really like and then we'll do a bag. I picked up a few rings. This um, is not marked anywhere. I don't think it's any kind of real, um, but it's really pretty. I thought it looks really nice on the hand. I'd like to have a real one with real pearls and diamonds or even, you know, doesn't have to be diamonds. Could be something else. I'm not, you know, that big on, it's gotta be diamonds. There's a lot of beautiful rings that have white sapphires in them and they look just like diamonds. This one I love. I don't think that it's gonna pick up, but it's got this Aurora Borealis lightning in it just like it the camera doesn't do it justice and it says thailand and 925 so i think it's gold over silver it's open in the back so that's always good letting the light shine through on those stones yeah if i look at it not on camera it's 10 times more amazing and it's too small for me but i had to get it because it was so pretty I think it's, I'm going to say six and a half. I'd have to measure it. It's so pretty in person. <sighs> if it fit me, yeah, I'd be wearing it all the time. These I like because, you know, I wouldn't say they're basic, but I like a nice CZ in the different shapes. I love the marquee shape, but I also love the pair. This is just uh, gold electric plated. This one is probably a little more modern, but I thought it was really pretty. It has the little rhinestones on the side, cubic zirconia, like the champagne color, little stones here. It's just really pretty. This is, I'm going to say this is eight and a half, nine, probably more nine. Really pretty. And then we have some of the painted metal, which I love. This is a nice old um, metal enameled heavy butterfly. So pretty. This big old thing, really like. A nice big locket. It's got a little bit of I would say an Art Nouveau type style, right? Um, I don't know if I can get it open for you now, but there's nothing in it. It's just got a pattern in it, but uh, probably this side. It's like opening an oyster. But anyway, um, it's beautiful. I love how detailed it is and how raised it is. Really nice. Another butterfly. Now, I have one like this, but not with a body like that. It's like Mothra. You ever see those old Godzilla movies with Mothra? Mothra. <laughs> and it's made in Korea. And I have a butterfly like this, but like I said, not that cool looking body. Really cool. And I have this absolutely adorable mouse i love the dark red stones and look at his face it's so cute and this is a name that i have not heard of before it's alice cavanis but she makes some beautiful things he's so cute so that's that let's open a bag then we can go over some of the bracelets i picked up I'm pretty excited about. I love too many of them. This looks familiar. I had the earrings on the other bag. Great. Oh. Yeah, they went bye-bye in a craft lot. So somebody else is going to get the necklace unless that person that I can remember, if it was in theirs, I think I might remember. These are glass beads. 
um, these. So it's it's not bad with the the gold splashes. And this necklace, oh, this is a super long one. I have a shorter one like this. It's the milk glass, and oopsie, and it's got a design on it, kind of like that clasp has got to go. But the um, it's kind of like the Melifiori on some of them. I don't know if they're supposed to be candies or flowers, but yeah, that's, that's all glass. I've run into this one before, but I think it was broken. It's got a little, it's, it's really gooky and that needs to be changed, but it's a really pretty necklace. And we have this. Oh, it's another one of those Pope pendants. Little cross with some enamel. Just a tiny silver tone pin. Got some watches. This is a fancy one. A Timex Indiglo. They were all the rage at one time. Ooh, look at these beads. I love these. Oh my goodness, if I had a necklace with this whole thing. And these are nice cut crystal. Why can't I have a whole necklace with this? I love it. With the colors running through. That's so cool. Love that. We have... Um, Valletta, is it? Valletta. And it's got a nice uh, textured thing going on. It's in bad shape if you look at the band. But it's a pretty watch. Kind of cushion, you know, cushion cut. I don't know what word to use for it, but this is, um, I guess, something somebody would wear in the the military or something or that's what I'm gonna go with EST is that maybe there's a a name under there a something looks like maybe they welded the four on there probably means something this is cool I'm not sure if that's looks kind of like malachite could be just um some kind of oh, plastic vintage hong kong yeah i don't know what that is what is that I'm getting distracted looking for the other one okay here we go i thought they were going to be um cufflinks for sure are there earrings mid-century modern I think I've had one of these before. Is this the thing and it kind of pulls out and snaps back and I totally forgot what it was for? Yes. Is it to hang something on? I can't believe I forgot what it was. I, I had this once before. It's got a patent. Can't see because of the darn glare New Jersey I think the other one was New Jersey too yeah okay somebody's gonna know and I had one of those before okay achievement award for what I don't know For something achieving. Uh, Anno Santo. Oh, another one of those coin pendants. This 
might be in the bag because it's falling apart. That's very likely, but let's take it out anyway. See what's going on with it. These seem to have a lot of little bags, which I don't mind because sometimes cool things come in little bags, right? Yeah, it's got some missing stuff. I'm not going to let it roll away. Well, I think it's because it's just glued on there or something. And it looks like the earrings are in there too. It doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like the beads are, the pearls are kind of um, glass. This is pretty. Kramer. Oh, I would have guessed Monet. But that's a nice Kramer. It's got little diamond cuts. Very nice. This is pretty, except it has some stones missing. It's made well. I was thinking it was a magnet or something. Is it broken? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. It's pretty. I think it has something there. I'm going to go with Joan Rivers, China. I can usually tell her her first name, the way that it's written. Oh, that's too bad. Another bag. This is... uh. Looks like a watch pendant, a little star. That's cute. I don't know why it's so scuffed up, unless they were trying to get it open. Oh, Fabergé, I have had one of these before. For a different style it was. Very pretty. These necklaces, I mean, earrings that I'm not fond of. I'm not fond of those. Some people maybe, some people might. Look at this. Nelsonic. Made in Hong Kong. Well, that's a neat pendant. Super neat. Imagine if you can get that working. Be so cool. Little ruby that actually looks like a ruby. Has that candy look to it. This is, you see it? The one I always forget. Uh, something design. <laughs> I don't know why I always forget it. But Kind of reminds me of Brighton in a, in a little bit away, but it is definitely, um, wow, this, I can't remember that name. And I probably could have told you yesterday for some reason. Don't think of it. I know it's something design. Not like I can prepare for this because I didn't know it was in there. <laughs> uh, Premier design. Hey, thank you. You were channeling, trying to tell me. A little puffed heart. Very lightweight. These look like old, old pins, like the Victorian pins. I think I've seen these, and someone said they were like lingerie pins or something. Maybe they're not. The ones that, you know, hold lingerie in place and stuff like that. And they're really old with the C-clasp, right? Could be, I'll have to research. A religious pendant with a cross. Let's see anything written on there. This is one of these um, sweater clips with a patent on it and a Earring attached. This is pretty. 
cute little cross. Nicely done. It's open in the back. Gives it a nice sparkle. Needs a little cleaning, but this looks like Avon. The little dogwood. It's got a tag, but this looks like a Monet tag. It's Monet. Cute little dogwood flower. I was going to say tree. We only have the flower. This is pretty. I've had one of these before. I think it's Russian, hand painted, right? That's the tiniest little clasp I've seen. So thin. And it's signed something in another language. Beautiful. Some pretty glass black beads. Looks like they were just tied together here. No clasp, but they're nice. Another one of these. I think these are from Mearings maybe because I had one in the other bag. This is a cross. I believe it's an Ankh or something it's called. And plastic button earrings. They're very light. Hong Kong. Very light plastic. This looks like baby teeth, but it's... I'm going to say it's Mother of Pearl. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's Mother of Pearl. Stretchy. This is definitely a pendant with zodiac signs. Sorry to blind you with that reflection. And the other earring. Oh, it's a moon glow type. Love that. That was dirty. Okay, some bracelets that I thought were really neat that I picked up separately. This one is not Bakelite. I don't know what it is. Um, it's some sort of vintage plastic. It's lightweight. It's got some, I mean, those look like hairline cracks, I guess, when they bent it, but it's not, it's not cracked. It's, you don't feel anything in there. And it's carved and it's got some eyes in there. And it's a snake. I thought it was very different and, and pretty interesting. Speaking of snakes, this clamper, it's got a lot of wear, but I think it's nice. I like the, um... The way that they made the snake heads with that design. So that. Then we have this, which I believe is alpaca. It's not marked anywhere, but, and I didn't test it, but this gives me that alpaca, alpaca feel. Um, and it's got the abalone in there. I like it. I've seen better abalone, you know, I've seen like this where you have a lot of blue and, and stuff, but it's not bad and it, it fits around the wrist really nicely. Then we have this, which I think is just like um like a touristy kind of bracelet, but I thought it was neat. Um, I forgot what it says. Oh, the hairpin turn, hairpin turn. The elk on the trail. It's, you know, about the Mohawk Trail. So, I thought that was cute. Should I say cute? I meant interesting. <laughs> well, I like the way that it's, it's done. I don't know. If he, oh, he's bending, bending it to make something out of it. I like those kind of storyteller type things. This I got because I love these expansion bracelets. They're so comfortable. This looks like it really wants to have something written on it, but it doesn't. But I don't know if you've ever worn these, but they're super comfortable. They're not heavy. They just slide on and off. When I have watch bands like this, when I find vintage ones, I love wearing them. 
And then we have this, which I thought was really pretty. I got to get the tag off of there, but I think this is Premier Design too. No, that's different. If anybody knows what that is. Is it initials? I don't know. But this is a clamper. It's um it's really pretty. It's got the rhinestones in it and it's um magnetic and super comfortable. None of them are missing. It's very nice. Oh. One second. Move one of my boxes or falling down. Yeah, I think we got it. Sorry about that. So, now we have this, which I believe is a panther. It's gold tone. That box is like possessed. It's gold tone and um, it's got the silver tone. And it's got the Panthers. It's a little bit worn. It's a clamper. It's got no name. But I thought it was kind of neat. What do you think? Not bad, right? I like the Panthers. And then we have this one. It's made of some sort of lucite. Some kind of plastic. It just opens like that. It's got a little bit of rub there but it's um it's very lightweight i love any belt buckle type stuff like i said um i don't know why i just like it you can loosen it make it tighter i like that a lot and then we have one now i'm not i love animals but i'm not one to wear like a you know, giraffe necklace or, you know, a bunch of those things. It's just not my style, but, you know, nothing against animals, but I love animals. It's just not my style. But when I saw this, um, it needs to be cleaned. And I saw the way it had the gold tone. It has kind of like um, the brush metal. It's kind of like pewter, I would say. Gives me that pewter feel. These animals, I just thought, oh, I love how that's done. It's not marked anywhere. It has a little bit of some kind of substance here because they probably have some, um, you know, nubs there where it goes through, which is great because that shows that it's not just glued or applied, um, that they're actually in there. And like I said, need some cleaning, but I really, really like the way that it looks. The animals are great on there. I would definitely wear that. Oh, they're on there, but he's the tiger's moving, the lion's moving a little bit, but that's okay. But I just think I like the way it's done. Especially the monkey feeding the, the elephant something, it looks like. <laughs> But I really like that one. And one more before we go. Let's see. My favorite earrings that I picked up. These are some sort of, I always say that, lucite because I don't know. Uh, but it's older plastic screw back that I love. And a buckle. I just love it. I can't even explain to you why. Just do. You know how it is. But yes, this is like one of the many uh, favorite things that I picked up. Uh, and I'm looking forward to wearing them. I just wish it had a bigger back to it. You know, it's so tiny. This, but I'm kind of got, I've gotten used to um, putting them on. So kind of good at it now. So that's good. But on that note, I'm going to end this video and be back again tomorrow. I have much more stuff to show. 
I'm very excited about it. And I have to show my, um, also, I won some things from um, an auction, an online auction, like a local estate sale. I'm so excited about that. And I will see you soon. Have a great night. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and everything you do. I appreciate it greatly. Thanks. Bye.